Hi everybody, it's Miss H. So, I'm back and I'm gonna read another great story from the EMK Library. Today, we're going to be reading a story called The Good Egg. Now take a look at this egg. What do you notice about him? He's got eyes and he's got glasses, right? Yeah, he looks pretty happy. These are all of his egg friends. Do they look like him? Or do they look different? I think they look a little bit different. None of them look all that happy like he does. So, this is a book called The Good Egg. Now, it's a book about an egg, but before we start reading, I wanna let you know that sometimes when people say, he's a good egg, they're talking about a person. They mean a person who always does the right thing, tries to be helpful. So, this egg looks pretty good. Do you think he's gonna stay good? What do you think will happen to him? Let's see. The Good Egg by Jory John and Keith Oswald. The Good Egg by Jory John and Pete Oswald. Oh, hello. I was just rescuing this cat. Know why? Because I'm a good egg. A very good egg. It's true. I do all kinds of good things like I'll carry your groceries. I'll water your plants. I'll change your tires. I'll paint your house if you need any help whatsoever. I'm your egg. I've always been a good egg. It's been this way from the start. Even in my earliest days back at the store. There were a dozen of us living together under one recycled roof. There was Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and other Frank. The other 11 eggs weren't on their best behavior. They weren't exactly good. They ignored their bedtime. They only ate sugary cereal. They threw tantrums. They cried for no reason. They broke their stuff on purpose. Meanwhile, I tried to take charge. I tried to fix their bad behavior. I tried to keep the peace because I was a good egg. A very good egg. Nobody seemed to care though. Every night I was exhausted. My head felt scrambled. Then, one fateful morning, I noticed some cracks in my shell. Yikes! They were everywhere. My doctor said it was from all the pressure I was putting on myself. The pressure of making sure everybody was as good as me. I was cracking up, literally. Something had to change. I'd had enough. I told Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelbert and Egbert and Frank and the other Frank that I was leaving. I can't be the only good egg in a bad carton, I said. Blah, 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 they replied. I left that night. I wandered from town to town the hours became days, the days became weeks. I lost track of time. I was alone. Do you see how he looks different now? See his beard? I mean, a long time has passed. Out there on the road, under the stars, I really tried to focus on myself and what I needed. I took walks, I read books, I floated in the river, wrote in my journal, I found simple moments to be quiet. I breathed in. I breathed out. I even started painting. For once, I found time for me. And guess what? Little by little, the cracks in my shell started to heal. My head no longer felt scrambled. I started to feel like myself again. Um, so I've made a big decision. I'm returning to my old carton and my friends. Besides, I'm kind of lonely out here. 
this time I know what I need to do. I'll try not to worry so much. I'll be good to my fellow eggs while also being good to myself. Oh, here we go. Everybody missed me. I missed them too. Hello, Meg. Howdy, Peg. Hey, Greg. Greetings, Clegg. What's up, Shell? Aloha, Shelly. Ayo, Sheldon. Hi, Shelby. Good day, Egbert. What's happening, Frank? Howdy do, other Frank. Sure, every once in a while, somebody's a little bit bad, but it's not like before. Here's what I realized. The other eggs aren't perfect, and I don't have to be either. I'm okay with that. Yep, the old carton is back together. We're a solid dozen again. It's good to be home. The end. So, what did you think about the good egg? How did he change in the story? In the beginning, he was so busy trying to take care of other eggs and what they were doing and things that he really couldn't change and he didn't take care of himself. And then he started to get little cracks on his head. How did he take care of himself? He took walks and read stories and he did things that were important to him. So taking care of yourself is just as important as taking care of other people. You need to make sure that you're doing things that you like that are good for you so that you can help other people do good things too. So I really like this story because sometimes we forget that taking care of ourselves is important. I hope you liked The Good Egg by Jory John and Pete Oswald. I'll see you next time. Bye.